Thank you for tuning in this episode of Channel Surfing. We're down here at the 2023 Seattle Boat Show, and we're going to do a walkthrough of brand new Ranger Doug R25. <clears throat> so the 25 is two feet shorter than the 27. We're going to figure out where those two feet got cut from. So let's go check it out. Okay. All right, we're down here in the Ranger Tug R25 in the V berth. So it comes with a TV, and I'll tell you, first spot where we lost a foot of the boat compared to the 27 is right here. Straight oh, across. Oh, yeah. Right? So we have the hanging closet. It's a little bit wider than the 27, but you don't have the shelf for the coffee maker and stuff would go here. Right? And that lost footage, that lost foot, I should say. You lost all the drawers, too. <laughs> yep, you lost another set of drawers. And then if you pivot and look in the head, the sink's also, uh, the sink lost some space. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> right, but still still plenty big enough to shower. It is a little smaller of a head than the 27. Um, <clears throat> but it is a fully enclosed head with a shower. So I would say this section right here is where one foot disappeared. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a different floor plan. It's the, it's the inverse floor plan. So you have, all right, so you've got the single wide helm. Right, and then you've got the, the dinette on the, the port side of the boat. This lets four people sit facing forward together and then the drivers uh, separate. Also the big you know window is gonna pop up on the, the port side instead of the starboard. That's one of the other reasons why we went with the 27. <laughs> Things on the 25, it's got a alcohol or electric stove. Uh, there's no propane on it. Let's check out the cave. So it's got the electrical panel right in the back. Um, very similar controls what the R27 has. But I can say uh, they've got some stuff stored back up there, but uh, that, the cave definitely is big enough for an adult to sleep under here as well. It's high enough. That's one of the challenges with some of the, uh, the older boats. Um, the cave is too narrow um, for an adult to actually sleep down there. But this, you could actually sleep an adult in the cave. And this one is a Northwest edition. So it's got uh, AGM batteries. And that's the battery charger right down there. Fair amount of storage space in the back. Having that outboard engine frees up the what would normally be the engine compartment for a lot more storage. Also easy access to the top of the gas tank and stuff too. And then in the starboard lazarette, plenty of backboard space to add stuff. Hot water heater, that's the uh, autopilot pump and hydraulics. Oh, that looks really wide. Yeah, and plenty of space for storage. This is a... Uh, Good spot for your hose, your electrical cord. Yeah. And then all normal features, I mean, Scotty downrigger plugs on both sides for your downriggers. So, um, the other cool thing on the R25, what I really like about the R25 is this wraparound um, swim step with the motor. So if you wanted to back up against the dock, you're not going to hit the engine. Um, the boat would actually have bumper stuff on it. So the other foot that looks to me that, that uh, you lost from the 27 to 25 is right here in the transom. Mm. Oh yeah, from here. Right, because there's no sink or anything back here. This is thinner than what the 27 is. This is probably where the other foot came. Because you know. so over there on the 27. And so the cock, you, lose, you lose the foot in the cockpit. You know, the cockpit's uh, shorter. Yep. The um, R25's got a Yamaha F250 which ironically is the exact same motor as the F300, they're both the 4.2 liter V6. Uh, it's just an engine tune is the difference between the two. That's the same service manual for the Yamaha F225, the 250, and the 300. Same exact service manual and parts and stuff like that. <clears throat> so plenty of horsepower to get up and go and uh, uh, fairly fuel efficiency too. I want to say the R25 is like 1.92 miles per gallon. It's roughly right up in there. A little bit better than the R27 gets. And just underneath, right there, is in the cave on the R25, is the MPPT solar controller. So here and again, to upgrade solar, just add a second panel or uh, pull the one panel off and put a larger panel in its place. The boat's already set up with the with the uh, decent solar controller. So having that uh, MPPT solar controller on the R25 makes uh, upgrading solar that much easier because the boat's already uh, fitted with the MPPT controller, you just have to um, add a second panel or replace the one panel with a, with a larger panel. One other thing I really like about Ranger Dogs, this applies actually to all of their boats, um, all their different models, is 
They have these steps on the side for both the port and starboard sides. So no matter which side of the dock you moor on, it's easy. It's easy to get on and off the boat. <clears throat> That's a really nice feature because you know you don't always get a, a, a starboard side tie. And with that, I hope you like this video and our walkthrough of the R25. If you have any questions, just please leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching this video, click the screen to watch another.